Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's maths lesson on fractions. Before we go into today's learning, can you have a quick go at the starter on the video thing, please? And then we'll go through it afterwards. Okay, hopefully you managed to have a go at that question. Um, so it says, how many different ways can you find to solve the calculation? So for the denominator, yeah, you had to make sure that it was nine. And the numerator, you could have had any two numbers which added to 11. So you could have had um, 10 and 1, you could have had 9 and 2, 8 and 3, and so on. Okay, I won't go through all of them because it's a waste of our time. Um, but hopefully you managed to work that out. So the main thing was that the de denominator was 9 as well, and your top two numbers just added to 11. Okay, let's crack on with today's learning then. So we're moving on now from adding and subtracting and we're looking at calculating fractures of a quantity. Um, so quantity just means the amount of a number. Um, so don't worry too much about that word. Um, and our star words are fraction, numerator, denominator, multiply and divide. So quite straightforward star words today. So let's look at this then. What is half of 12? So I'm going to show you um, how we can work out what half of 12 is. So some of you might already know, and that's brilliant, but I'm actually going to show you today one method of how we can work out. So all I've drawn is a shape. It doesn't have to be a square. I've just drawn a square because when you go onto your mathletics title, this is what it looks like. And um, so I try to keep it as the same as what you're going to be doing in a minute. So if we're looking at a half, how many equal parts do we need to split this shape into? What is a half? If we were writing it as a fraction, what would the denominator be of a half? So hopefully, we worked out that it is two. So I'm going to divide this shape into two equal sections, okay? Because that is half. So what I'm going to do with this counter is I'm going to put 12 in here into each box equally. I'm going to share them out or divide them into these two boxes. So I've got one, two, I didn't do that equally, sorry. One, two, three, so four. So put one in that one, then one in the next part. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Sorry, that'll be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've just put 12 counters in each section equally um, and then it's in two sections because we're looking at half and then all we do is count how many counters are in each section. One, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore half of 12 is six. And I can also write that. So half of 12 equals six. Okay, let's have a look at another one then. What is a quarter of 16? So this time we're looking at a quarter. So think about what that would look like as a fraction. It's one over four. So if we're looking at a quarter, what, how many equal sections do we need to split our shape in now? It's four. So we're splitting our shape into four equal sections. And now we're doing the same as before. We're just sharing out 16 counters into these four boxes. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. I'm going to pause the video because this is probably very boring for you. And there we go. So um, all I've done is shared them equally, 16 counters into each of these four sections of the shape. Um, and then we just count how many are in one section because we're looking at one quarter and it's one, two, three, four. So therefore one quarter of 16 equals four. Okay, um, let's have a look then at another one. What is a third of nine? So think about what a third looks like as a fraction. Our denominator is three. So what are we going to divide our shape into? It would be three. So we're dividing our shape into three equal parts because we're looking at a third and then we're going to share out our counter. Um, oh, sorry, we're going to share out nine counters equally. That's a really important thing about this. You've got to make sure it's equal um, because if you just put them all in one, then it's not a true representation of a third because it's not equal. It's the same as you do for when you divide. So hopefully you should be okay with that. So then I shared out my nine counters and we just count how much 
how many are in one box? So that is three. So one third of nine equals three. So now it's your turn to have a go. So um, you can draw this in your book if you want. Um, what I want you to find out is a quarter of 12. So think about what you're going to split your shape into. It doesn't have to be equal in your books. Um, don't worry too much about making it neat, just as long as you know that it should be equal, then that's fine. And then see if you can share a counter out 12 times equally into each box and then work out the answer. OK, let's go through the answers then, if hopefully you manage to have a go at it. So I'm going to split my shape up into quarters, which is into four. So I'll divide it into four equal parts or sections, and then I'm going to share it equally. I'm going to share 12 counters out equally. I'm going to pause the video because, again, it's going to be very boring. And there we go. So I've shared out 12 counters equally into these four sections, and you can see there's one, two, three in each section. So therefore, a quarter of 12 is three. For those of you who um, have worked out, you're actually just dividing the number by the denominator. Um, when you're working out one lot of something, so one quarter, one half, or one third, you can just divide your whole number by your denominator and you'll get that because 12 divided by 4 is 3. I'll look at the previous ones we've done. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Uh, 16 divided by 4 is 4 and so on. Um, but if you still want to draw them thin, that's absolutely fine. And like I said, in your mathletics task after this, you will be doing it like this. Um, so that's why I'm showing you this way as well. So let's move on to our developed learning now. Um, what is two thirds of 12? So we've looked at one third so far. So now I'm going to show you how we can work out two thirds of a quantity. So we do the same as before. We split our shape into thirds, so into three equal sections. And then we share out 12 counters into our thirds. I'm going to pause the video and do that for you. OK, so I shared out my 12 counters equally into my three sections. So if we were working out one third, we would just count one box. How many counters in one box? If we're counting two thirds, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to count two boxes. So we know that one box is four. And the next box is four. So you can do four add four, which is eight. So therefore, two thirds of 12 is eight. Sorry, I was meant to, I was going to write four then. Let's write that again. OK, let's have a go at another one. Uh, what, are, what is three fifths of 25? So think about what we're going to divide our shape up into. If it's fifths. We are going to divide it into groups of five, okay, five equal sections. And then I'm going to share 25 counters. So I'm definitely pausing it this time because that's going to take me a while. OK, there we go. So I've shared out 25 counters. Definitely didn't copy and paste it. And we have 25 altogether. So they've been shared between um, five equal groups. If we're looking at one fifth, we would just count one box, but we're looking at three fifths. So how many boxes are we going to, or how many counters are we going to count? So we're going to count this box, this box, and this box. So you can even maybe dot them as you go along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So therefore three fifths 25 is 15. Um, some of you might have seen straight away that if you know one fifth is five, three fifths, you're going to do three times five, which is 15. And that's fine. If you um, have quicker ways to work it out, then that's brilliant. Um, so now it's your turn. I want you to find three quarters of 20 for me, and then we'll go through it together. So three quarters of 20. So think about what you're going to divide your shape up into, and then share 20 counters out equally and then work out what three quarters is. OK, hopefully you managed to have a go at that. So I have um, split my shape up into equal sections of four because we're looking at quarters. And then I've shared out um, 20 counters. So three quarters of 20. So if we were working out one quarter, we would just count this box. We're looking at three quarters, so therefore we're going to count this box, this box, and this box, three boxes. And uh, if you counted them all up, you would get 15. 
So three quarters of 20 is 15. Um, again, you could have worked out that one quarter is five, and then five times three is 15. Okay, so now it's your turn to have a go. Um, you've got an athletics task set today, and you're using the same method as we have been going through today. Um, tomorrow we're going to look at a different method, but for the sake of today's lesson, we, I just thought it would be good for you to see pictorially how um, we work out fractions of a quantity. Um, if you want a challenge after you've done your mathletics, then come back to the video, and here is your challenge. Okay, welcome back for those of you who are doing the challenge. Um, it says Ron gives four fifths of a bag of 35 marbles to Alex. Teddy gives three sevenths of a bag of 35 marbles to Alex. Who gave Alex the most marbles? So for this one, you need to work out the quantity of what Ron gives him and Teddy gives him. So you're doing what we've already done, but you're just doing it twice um, and then work out who's got the most marbles. If you haven't done it already, pause the video now and go through it because I'm about to go through the answer. So four fifths of thirty-five. So I know that if I divide thirty-five by five, that is seven, and then seven times four is twenty-eight. So Ron gives um, Alex twenty-eight marbles. So I just write that there, and Teddy gives three sevenths. So three sevenths of thirty-five would be, so 35 divided by 7 is 5, times by 3 is 15. So therefore, Ron gave Alex the most marbles, because he gave him 28, and Teddy only gave him 15. Um, so hopefully that was all okay. Um, if you use the other method for that, then that's fine. I just thought that was um, quicker to show it. But if you do want me to go through it again with you, then let me know, and I can go through it with you using this method as well okay thank you for watching and that's everything for today nice and short video today